Uh, hi, Amit. How are you doing? Problem is awkward now. I'm so sorry about that. No, no, no. Late. Perfect. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much. There's no problem about the quality, voice and image. There's no problem? There's good. Both good. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, how are we doing these days about the quarantine, the coronavirus outbreak? And... Yeah, <laughs> it's staying a lot inside. I don't know how it's over in your country, but uh, here we have to, uh, at least if, if we don't need to do stuff, we need to stay inside as much as possible. I still go for a walk every day because uh, I don't want to be lazy. Uh, <laughs> but apart from that, so it's, it's just going out there, doing a little exercise and then uh, going back in. So it's not sketching outside, at least uh, <laughs> because that would attract audiences and audiences come close and that would uh, result in a fine here. You get uh, 400 euros fine if you are too close, which is good. Yeah. It's good that they do that. I hope this will be uh, fine after all. And we're back yeah. to the normal life. Everything has changed. So I followed the Netherlands news about the rate of contagion is not... The high is not uh, down, but it's remarkable. But uh, I hope this nightmare will be done one day. So uh, I'm so glad to see you here. And uh, here. Speak, thank you. It's a big proud for me to have a conversation with you. And I hope this uh, interview will be useful for all of the audiences. So I uh, should mention to you, uh, our audiences uh, contain the uh, architectural uh, students, urban design students, urban planners, and also sculpture, industrial designers. And after that, the enthusiasts of the art, you know, the artists, painters, and calligraphers and everything from uh, various countries. And so a good time to have a, this kind of uh, uh, panels to interview with their urban sketchers, you know, the sketch is uh, uh, like a dilemma. This is hard to understanding the methods, the principles, the, I don't know, the, the, how the techniques and tools are useful in it. So uh, uh, I must uh, ask you uh, for uh, first of all questions. Uh, what's your definition and explanation of the sketch word? And uh, what does it mean in your mind? Um, I think sketch, uh, as opposed to like, say, a drawing, um, and that's why I like to sketch. Um, with sketching, I would want, I want to be very fluent. I want to be uh, fast. If I have to slow down, um, that starts to be drawing. And uh, in my case, uh, when I started this up, I started uh, sketching again. Uh, four years ago, uh, in, in uh, July 2016, and uh, my regular work is uh, computer-based. I showed you just as we tested this, I showed you my computer. Um, so uh, I do a lot of uh, precise, very precise work uh, mm -hmm. where things have to be correct, perspectively correct, uh, structurally correct, and uh, I wanted to step away from that to uh, feel more freedom again. And when I was a teenager, um, I didn't bother about uh, perspective. I, 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 oh, sure, I hoped that things would look great, but I was not concerned that much with uh, uh, all the principles. And, and, but I, I, at that time, I spent a lot of time on the drawing. So it, it could take hours to make a drawing or sometimes if I did Christmas cards, uh, my Christmas cards from when I was a teenager are famous because I had a road drink pen, which is a technical drawing pen. Mm. Um, and I spent weeks on a drawing. And uh, that's something that I decided now from my computer background, so when I started sketching again or drawing again, uh, I wanted to pick up my skills as a traditional uh, artist again. And I defined for myself, I don't want it to be serious in a way that I spent hours with it because I don't have the time for that. Um, and also uh, uh, compare it to writing. If you write something, it's very fluent. Um, 
And it's very fast. You can't write uh, because then you go into calligraphy. And I understand from mm. you that there are also calligraphers among us. Uh, calligraphy is maybe a good example of where you have to make very deliberate mm. marks. And that's something that you uh, probably cannot do very fast because then uh, they won't be all right. Um, and for me, the, the difference uh, I think best illustrated is uh, sketching and drawing to uh, calligraphy and uh, writing something fast. With calligraphy, you do it in a very deliberate way, in a very uh, graceful way. And uh, with writing, uh, you need to put stuff down, uh, which as somebody is saying, if, if they are following a lecture and you're writing or typing along, it has to be mm. fast because otherwise you miss everything. And for me, the sketching is almost the same thing, that I don't want to lose time. I mm. want to capture something as fast as possible. And also because, if I, ha uh, because I have to do it fast, um, it forces me uh, to uh, remove everything that uh, stops me from being fast. And one of these things that uh, many people ask me uh, that, uh, why aren't there any people or why uh, 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 people is such a thing that if you start to really draw them like arms and a head and feet, uh, they have to be either very good because otherwise you know, they distract uh, Sorry, sorry, Albert, I must cut you. No, no, interrupt sorry. me, feel free. Because, no, no, you joined, uh, you, uh, you know, uh, joined all of the subjects together and we have okay. a question about that. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be honest. Okay, uh, so, you know, what's the problem here? There is a dilemma about the explanation of sketch, you know, the sketch is not um, easy to understanding. What's that mean? Because uh, we have the two uh, great aspects of um, uh, sketchers and the form, con the form and the content. You know, form-oriented guys like like this story, like the Bernini, Leonardo da Vinci, and for example, Bramante. Um, they said about that uh, the sketch is the rapid way to uh, explain it, the something that exists in their mind for owner or audiences. So uh, you are talking about the lifestyle. You are talking about the uh, sketches, your lifestyle, and there is a, um, uh, there is a, you know, the background of your uh, age and childhood and anything else. So uh, in the content uh, oriented guys, they said uh, the sketch is not a rapid way to explain. There is a best quality uh, um, technique to, uh, as a tool, I think, uh, to uh, present uh, one thing is is subject or object to. So, uh, what uh, so after that, uh, I can ask this question: How long uh, does it take about your sketch? What? Uh, how long uh, that your sketches uh, take time? How about uh, a minute? No, uh, my sketches take uh, around forty-five minutes, and that's yeah. also something that I. Uh, what I explained, I don't want to spend any longer because I don't have that time. I have uh, uh, decided for myself that I make a sketch every day and mm -hmm. I have been doing that more than one a day, uh, but I cannot do that if they take hours to do because otherwise uh, I could not do any regular work. And maybe a, an interesting point on sketching, uh, which I want to make also from my uh, professional background as a CG artist, and a visualization oh. artist is yeah. um, sketches leave lots of free uh, freedom for the viewer to interpret. Um, analogy here with a book, a book with no pictures. If you describe something in words, you leave everything to the imagination of the viewer, uh, the list, uh, the reader. Uh, if you make a picture book with photographs, you leave almost nothing for the reader to, because everything is already, uh, you show it. Uh, sketch hmm. is the same thing. And I see that in my practice as a visual artist, um, as soon as I start to do photorealistic architectural renderings or photorealistic product renderings, sometimes if you do that in a too early stage, 
uh, the people who need to decide about a design or about a building or about a visual, uh, they say, well, no, it's not supposed to be like that stone. And in a sketch, mm. you you don't have that problem. So they don't yeah. uh, uh, have any problems with uh, making the right decisions at the right moment. And uh, so that's also the, where a sketch uh, has a specific place in a design process. Yeah, in this moment, please halt, please halt. Uh, you said uh, there is a, a various styles that uh, power the kind of, uh, for example, uh, techniques, you know. Uh, you said, you, for example, your line is artistic and there is no limitation here to show the, for example, the stone in a structural style, yeah? You mean that? This, there is yeah, no but... limitation here. Okay, uh, but about my um, expert in urban design, we have uh, technical lines, you know, for example, I must show you this photo. Um, this is, uh, for example, your, I must do, um, rotate. Okay, all of audiences show that. Okay, uh, for example, this, there is one of your uh, sketches. We have the, uh, uh, do you so too about that? Yep, thank I, you. <laughs> thank well, you. Well, incidentally thank you. got this one as well, so I'll put thank it you, Thank you, <laughs> thank you, okay. <laughs> I must remove that. Okay, please wait. <clears throat> so about that, uh, about that, uh, we have the um, one street and in this street, uh, we have a, something like the uh, the dance of the colors and the complex forms into, and there is no accurate, I think, end uh, pointing lines. There is no technical lines here, but all of the lines are artistic, and you have this amazing style to create like a painting. You know, this is like a picture. And I love this style. So uh, if you have a concentration on the windows, for example, on the windows in uh, the elements, the vertical, the horizontal, and also the accessories, furniture, or something in a figures, humans, or anything else, um, we have uh, something in Gestalt, you know, the Gestalt theory. Yeah. We have the, yeah. So um, if we change it to this photo, for example, in my style, in my style, for example, this one, this one, I don't use the color yet in my samples. So mm -hmm. uh, I, I uh, draw it like a machine, you know, like a machine. And uh, uh, this is the technical line. So uh, can you separate these, these uh, kind of styles to, to us? Uh, which one uh, do you prefer? And uh, which one uh, do you think has a big, um, deeper influence to your audiences? Um, let me see. Uh, let me try uh, how I can uh, answer this. Um, one thing, yeah, again, when I started this up uh, four years ago, um, I hadn't done much, especially in my traditional drawing. I hadn't drawn for 30 years, and that's a three and a zero. So I hadn't drawn for a very long time. Yeah. Um, and in that time, I did what you have, what you showed, uh, lots of line drawings uh, with uh, technical pens. Uh, and I did know nothing or almost nothing about color uh, in my own work, especially uh, on the computer. You, you almost get that for free. Mm -hmm. uh, if you have a, a 3D model and you do some texturing and you put a light on it, uh, everything of the shadow and everything will render itself. And um, let me switch back to myself. Yeah. Yeah, I, I will show them uh, one of your videos. Yeah, yeah. No problem. Um, so what I decided, uh, 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 which was a good exercise for me, is, okay, how can I get into color? Uh, and when I bought my first sketchbook, I had no plan at all. I had, didn't really have a... I just knew I wanted to sketch. Mm. Um, so I bought a very limited amount of markers, which is like five or six, uh, a red, a green, a blue, 
and uh, one or two grays and a brown. That was it. Um, and just started to work with that. And uh, I can show you, because I picked up that sketchbook. Let me see. This was the first one. That was the day before I started. Let me uh, show it that way. Uh, this was my first drawing. Yeah. That was from uh, 30th of June, 2016. But oh. just to show you, uh, there can be improvement. Uh, this was actually my first, more or less. Oh. And you yeah. see that uh, I have blue, I have gray, and it's all over the place. And I didn't, and that's... It's, it's great that it shows it like this. Uh, I didn't have any idea what to do. But <laughs> my most important drive was, uh, if I start to do this a lot, probably uh, things will change. And one of the things that change is that I have like this whole array of markers now, uh, which are totally unaffordable if you have to buy them at once. But I... Uh, yeah, there's lots. There's all over the place. There's markers, markers, markers. So I have lots of uh, different colors now, uh, which you can also see here. Uh, now I can switch. But now I've also learned uh, how to uh, make use of color. And that's something that I learned in these four years before that I wouldn't really have known. And for me, the sketching part is that I... Uh, set up the basis, uh, what you see in the in the movie that you show on the left, uh, at mm -hmm. least on my left here in the in the split screen, is yeah. that I start with a framework, but I don't, and that's also one of the things that I decided I would do, I don't pre-sketch. I don't use <clears throat> a pencil, so I make it very hard for myself. Everything that, stay, uh, that I do stays there, and I can't correct it. Uh, yeah. So perspective and everything. It's a, big, cannot... it's a big problem, you know. It's a big problem. How do you dare that? You don't use the underdraw. <laughs> amazing thing. How do you dare that? You starting without any underdraw because you know uh, my process. Is this. Uh, let me show you. Let me show you my process. Um, about this, please. Um, for example, you can see. Uh, you know, after uh, pointing in my style, uh, there is a line work, and that uh, the, the pre the line work uh, before that I have an underdraw. After underdraw, uh, I uh, fix any errors, any problems in my sketching, uh, especially in perspective technique. And uh, after that, refinement is started. After that, and also. Um, my, add the much details and also after that the shadowing. You know, this is a, a big thing about you. You were starting without any uh, uh, pre uh, lines. And uh, I, uh, I saw your studio, your amazing studio, that you are starting from SX liners, the fab Fabric Custom Marker and yeah. SX liners. And after that, I think uh, we must. Uh, remarkable this you are you are not using under now okay keep on no but uh there was a conscious choice not to do that because uh i wanted to uh, at the start i wanted to be scared i wanted to be like ah uh, white page <laughs> and uh, what am i going paper. to do and uh but that's really something that i set myself as uh, as uh, a goal uh, to not be afraid uh, mm. of drawing this way. And you have to think very fast and you make lots of mistakes. But then you also learn that uh, that the mistakes are not really uh, that important. Uh, you learn to really switch very fast. If you, mm. uh, I could construct everything. I mean, I, I could analyze a photograph or I could uh, go to a building uh, I know I have lots of 3D programs. I uh, know exactly how perspective works. Uh, I could construct things, but then again, uh, if you uh, consider the time limitation that I set myself not to max out above the hour, uh, mm. that would never be doable. Uh, and also it would take away the fastness of writing. It would be more like a very deliberate uh, kind of construction and uh, that's something that I set as a couple of goals that I would not do. I wanted it to be flowing, 
fast and uh, yeah so the, the immediately starting with black line drawing is one of the things that uh, came out of that yeah absolutely so uh, for second questions uh, i ask this uh, uh, what kind of principles uh, do, do you uh, have in your sketches you know I, I can't um, i can't say that what kind of principles urban sketch uh, ha does have or something like this because uh, in all of the books from James Richards, from the uh, Kamasas, from the another uh, um, authorships, uh, for example, writers or sketchers, there's no uh, the fix, um, fixed principles about urban sketch. So uh, what is your principles in your sketch? How uh, you uh, select your objects, your cases, and after that, for example, uh, something like the configuration the proportions or something like um, compositions. How do you uh, use in your sketch? Uh, first of all, uh, the selection is uh, probably uh, when I choose stuff uh, for me, um, I happen to decide on buildings. Urban sketching in general uh, is about uh, trying to capture the environment around you, uh, which doesn't exclude people uh, luckily because there are lots of uh, lots of artists out there who do only yeah. people or who do people and buildings or uh, do nature so uh, luckily there's many many uh, different artists doing different interpretations and uh, just to jump back i jump i jump around a lot but uh, to the analogy of the book with a written word and a photographic book uh, if you have a written word everybody uh, who I say a line like a shadowy figure moves across the dark end of the street. Everybody who's listening now will have a different uh, image points that I did. I made of what that looks like. Uh, nobody will do the same thing. And that's the nice thing about artists. Everybody looks at something like uh, a, a situation. And one artist says, I like that specific detail mm. or I like the total picture. And for mm. me, um, I like uh, uh, stuff that's interesting. And for me, uh, I like architecture a lot. So that's, and architecture is a lot around us. Uh, I mean, uh, we all live in, uh, in, in either urban environments or even in villages. There's lots of buildings around. So uh, mm. it's also an easy topic to, to select. And yeah, for me, yeah, I like architecture and uh, there's lots of nice places around the world. And where I live, there are still more or less old buildings from uh, 15, 16, 1700. There's lots around here. So there are many uh, subjects that you can choose, but you can go very big in the sense that you can make a street or you can go very tiny and do a door detail or a table. And uh, because I like and I'll show you that in this one, uh, which is a nice, for me, it's a nice challenge. Uh, foliage, uh, things that grow uh, are very hard to do. So uh, for me, that's one of the challenges that I am trying to tackle now is how do I solve uh, yeah. these, these things? So, but uh, you see that architecture is, for me, is always a main drive and, um, I decide, so when I uh, decide on what I am going to draw, I look, is this interesting? Is it, for me, is it like, whoa, yes, I want to draw or make a drawing. I want to make a sketch out of this. And uh, that's uh, a motivator. And now yeah. uh, when, uh, when everybody on the, uh, uh, on Instagram now, let's see if I can find this pretty yeah. quick. I had, I had a small slide, uh, just a, a selection of a couple of them. Yeah, mm. this one was the one from yesterday. Uh, so it was a nice thing for me. Uh, okay, let's not do a building because this one was one Instagram user who yes. uh, set up a picture of a, 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 a building machine. And okay, how do you solve that? Uh, same thing, basically same thing. If it's something that is interesting to draw, uh, that's something that... Uh, makes it fun to do and one thing should be important at least for me as a sketcher it should be important that i have fun and it's not something that oh no i have to do this again because otherwise you would never uh, at least i would never be able to uh, 
maintain that for four years. Uh, that would be impossible because it's now like way over, yeah, I think uh, over 2,000 drawings with all the uh, extra drawings that I did. I made well over 2,000 apart from my professional work as a, uh, as a visualization artist. So, and I would not have been able to do that if it wasn't fun. So for me, it should be interesting. It should be uh, challenging in a way that there's something that, uh, okay, I want to solve this and how should I solve mm -hmm. it? Uh, that's the things that I select when I make a sketch. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so uh, back to the conversation about uh, uh, literature again. Uh, how about your uh, technique and your tools? Um, I know uh, most of your tools are related to the color. And uh, we are talking about the role of color in the sketches. Because I know uh, we have the suppression ways about the sketching styles. Um, like me, I don't use the color uh, uh, in, uh, in my sketches. I, I use monocolor, like the dark blue, the, uh, the Lemmy marker and Lemmy pens, and also uh, the 1.1 nib or 1.5 nib. And after that, uh, I use this. So uh, if you uh, show us your studio, your amazing studio at first, and your, uh, uh, your, for example, your markers, and also your dolls, your <laughs> I know that you have dolls. <laughs> And also, please show us, uh, and I mentioned to my audiences, if uh, you have questions, please send us to me. Uh, after our interview, I will ask the questions uh, to the Albert. Yeah, sure. Please show us your studio, if there is no problem about your studio. Show us the studio. Okay, let me, switch this. Yeah, let me switch this around. Uh, put this one, which was also a nice, because it was a combination of an object and, and, and some buildings. But uh, this is my, yeah, computer display. Yeah. Uh, let me see. I, um, but yeah, let's, let's, let's take a walk. I'll take my sketchbook. I'll take it with yeah. me because I want to show that at least I'm a very uh, uh, consistent person. Uh, this, <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna walk you uh, to, that, to that spot in my studio. Yeah. Here you can still see him. So the sketch was from uh, four years ago <laughs> and uh, I, I added a couple of books, but uh, yes. the doll is still there and the two books, which you see here. Uh, the books are they, still there. <laughs> a little bit lighter, but they're still there. So, but that was, uh, yeah. I, I was in, uh, in this chair then and my first drawing, I was, okay, what, what am I going to sketch? And I saw this bookcase. Okay, why not? Let's sketch that one. And uh, the one that you saw next, let me see, because it's like juggling with a couple of things now. Um, How about your books, previous books? I, I got to have a um, story of books, I, sketchbooks, numbers. I showed them first here. This. Uh, you see the church there, you see the buildings, and that was actually uh, out of my studio. I saw this, I was, that was my second drawing. Like, okay, let's sketch that. So, that's how I started with I have no idea what to do and make it uh, into okay. And now I finally know uh, buildings, I like buildings, but here you can see, yeah, I am really uh, this is just a small part, I have lots of books. And books uh, are about many, many topics. Uh, there's a lot of, here you see some uh, about faith or uh, esoterica, but also gay. I'm a very eclectic person. I get interested in a lot of stuff. Uh, sorry, Albert. Uh, sorry, but your uh, right. connection is I'll not show you. good. Okay, okay. But I'll show you also Please the... Please check. Uh, it's for the better. Ah, yes, it is one. These are my sketches. Yeah, this, so this, okay. this, one, this one was, uh, as this was number one. one. I took him out. So, and then came two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, thirteen, 10, 11, 13. 
And here's. So now I am working in sketchbook number 26. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you very much about showing your.